This young man appears to have had synthol injected into his arms to make his biceps look bigger. It's a very dangerous thing. This is an oil that should not be injected into the body like this, and he looks like he had some major surgery to repair. This is not a natural body. I don't know if I needed to tell you that or not. This person probably does go to the gym. They probably work out a lot, but they're probably injecting something called synthol. His waist looks good. It's super small, but his shoulders. There's a problem with shoulders. Oh, no. Before we get started on this video, I just want to let you haters know that this, this right here, it did not That's happen not. overnight. What was that? That's not the mic. Somebody's trying to be funny. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is you need to stick to being natural. Do it the natural way. All y'all using that synthol or the roids or whatever that is, y'all need to cut it out. See this? It don't move. <laughs> Who do you know that doesn't like me? I'll wait. I'll wait. When I was younger, the only weird thing I ever thought I could see a human do was eat mint chocolate chip ice cream. No. I know, y'all are probably already typing. I don't like it. If you love it, good for you. But that has gone out the window and that is no longer weird in my books. Kinda, sorta, just a little bit weird, okay? So these guys want muscles so big that they look like they're about to bust through their own skin. But instead of actually earning them in the gym, they would rather pump their body full of oil and pretend they're Hulk. They inject the stuff into their muscles and boom, they look, well, deformed. Ooh. If you're not familiar with what synthol is, it's basically a cocktail of oil, painkillers, as well as alcohol. So the combination gets injected into their muscles and it gives you that swollen, bloated, a look at me appearance and not in a good way. And the thing is, it does absolutely nothing. Nothing for your strength, nothing for your brain, nothing for heavy lifting, running faster, or even performing better. All you've got is muscles full of oil, like some kind of walking and talking deep fryer. Now y'all know this craziness always comes with side effects and one of them is an infection, infections. Now imagine getting one deep infection inside your muscle tissue because you thought injecting oil was a great idea. Bacteria loves to party where it shouldn't and your muscles are prime real estate when you're injecting this nonsense into your skin. We're talking abscesses, big, painful, pus-filled pockets that are basically your body's way of screaming, what the <clears throat> are you doing? And then another side effect is nerve damage. Yeah, so inject some synthol into your muscles and you may kiss certain muscle movements goodbye. Imagine working so hard to look massive. <gasps> Did I hurt y'all's ego? Only for you to lose control over that muscle because the nerves have gone on strike. Them nerves said goodbye, see you never. So yeah, good luck explaining that to people who ask you why your arm looks like it was designed by a child's balloon animal artist. Hi, I'm very close. And let's not forget about the lumpy disaster you're signing up for. You really thought synthol was going to make you look like a Greek god? Well, you were wrong. Inject it wrong and congratulations, you've turned your muscles into lumpy, mushy mashed potatoes. Is that the look you were really going for? And be honest in the comment section below. If you're watching this and you're somebody that has partaken in these synthol disasters, you wanted big arms, but now you've got a collection of weird bumps that make you look like an alien who tried bodybuilding and failed miserably. If you are somebody that's still planning to take synthol, I don't know what could be going wrong in your head because you are gonna look like a science experiment gone wrong. And then we have the big side effect, bigger than my own muscles, synthol hitting your bloodstream and suddenly you're facing what is called pulmonary embolism. Y'all can correct me in the comment section. That oil could travel to your lungs, blocking your blood flow and you'll be down faster than you can say hospital bill. Stroke, heart attack, all those bad goodies, yeah. Those are real possibilities. All because you wanted to look like you bench 500 pounds when you really haven't even stepped under the bar. <clears throat> and don't even get me started on skin necrosis. That's just a fancy way of saying your skin might die. So yeah, your skin could literally rot off because it is stretched over your freaking balloon animal muscles. So you're now big, lumpy, and rotten. I wanted to get into the mindset of what drives someone to go down this road. Some of y'all just can't deal with the fact that your muscles hit a plateau. You're training, you're eating right, but those calves, they just won't grow. Now, some of y'all don't even train and some of y'all don't even work out. Y'all just wanna pump up some oil. 
And instead of accepting genetics like a normal person, you're out here trying to cheat nature. You think you're hacking the system, but you're really just hacking away at your own body. And then of course there's body dysmorphia. Some of y'all look in the mirror and no matter how jacked you are, you still see a scrawny kid, unfortunately. It is a psychological problem. And instead of getting therapy, you would rather get syringes full of oil into your skin. You've convinced yourself so much that looking bigger is the only thing that matters, even if your muscles end up looking like overinflated water balloons. Seriously though, the only thing that's growing in this entire situation is your insecurity. The same one you were trying to hide. Ooh. And don't even get me started on the internet. The social media game is rigged and synthol is just another way for people to fake their way into getting attention. Sure, you might get a few more likes, but is it worth looking like a deflated balloon when that oil finally breaks down or leaks out of your muscle tissue? Because yeah, that's exactly what it does. And I hate to burst your bubble, but people notice when you've got synthol arms, whether they're into fitness or not. You think you're fooling everyone, but trust me, we can see it. We can all see it and we're not impressed. And the thing about synthol is you pump it into your muscles, your skin, and it's good for like a month or two, depending on how your body reacts. But after that, you look like you need help. At the end of the day, synthol isn't just dangerous, it's embarrassing. You're out here injecting oil into your muscles to impress people who either A, don't know any better or B, know exactly what you're doing and they think it's ridiculous. You're not actually getting stronger, you're not getting fitter or even more athletic. You're just inflating yourself like some kind of human parade float and for what? To get a few likes, to impress people at the gym for just a few seconds until they realize your BS? Yeah. Might wanna um, reevaluate your decisions in life. His waist looks good, it's super small. But his shoulders, there's a problem with shoulders. What's in his shoulders? They don't look good at all. This is what I don't like about modern day bodybuilding. All the junk, you know, the muscles, No, nobody's shoulders get strided anymore. When I was competing, my shoulders were my strongest body part genetically. And when I would diet, they would be shredded to the bone. Like, you know, like even right now, I'm not dieting or like not competing at the top level anymore. But, you know, like my shoulders, there's... You know, there's striations in there. You can't really see that good now. It's messing up. But there's striations in there. He's getting ready for the Olympia. And his shoulders are full of something. Is it synthol? Is it a bunch of gear? Um, is it Winstrol Depot? That used to make things swell up really bad, but they usually, they're too even maybe to kind of be that. All synthol is is MCT oil. And it just fills up the muscle, right? His shoulders should be shredded to the bone. Like, go look at all the 90s guys, Ronnie, Flet, all those guys. Even when I was competing, all of us, our, sh our shoulders were, you know, usually shredded to the bone unless somebody was using a bunch of sight enhancement oil or putting too much gear. 99% of bodybuilders usually have used sight enhancement oil at one time or another. Am I against it? Totally not. No, I mean, it's just bodybuilding. It doesn't matter how you look. You're supposed to... The, the way people would use it, you're supposed to not be able to tell you used it. I never had to because my shoulders were crazy. My arms were crazy. But there's something going on here, guys. Leave comments below. I'm not a fan of it. So the synthol route isn't the shortcut you think it is. It's actually a dead end. Real strength takes time and takes discipline and a lot of hard work. Not needles, not oil, not tricks. And trust me, there is a reason why so many synthol users may end up regretting it. Because once the injection hits, the nerves stop working and the deformities settle in, guess what? There's no undo button at all. So next time you think of taking the synthol shortcut, just remember you're not just risking your health, you're risking looking like a human experiment gone wrong. And that's a look nobody is going to envy. <laughs>